This is Gary Stocker. Today's Medical Laboratory Career Interview is with Amanda Reed. In her role as Program Director for the Medical Laboratory Scientist Program at St. Louis University, Amanda provides you with a thorough review of some of the many important factors in making a decision to pursue a medical laboratory career. Medical laboratory science as a career. So I chose medical laboratory science uh, because, uh, like I said, I, I taught high school biology for a while. And um, after teaching in the high school setting for a few years, I decided it was, it was not for me. Um, and so I still wanted to use my science background. I um, was interested in healthcare. I wanted to help people. I wanted to serve but I wasn't necessarily interested in direct patient contact. And so I was looking around for things that I could do with just a bachelor's in biology. And it turns out there really wasn't much that I was qualified for. Uh, as an undergrad, I was uh, not involved in any sort of undergraduate research. I hadn't networked or made any connections. I was naive and I thought, oh, I'm gonna take these courses. Um, I'm going to get good grades and then people will want to give me a job, um, but that's not necessarily how things work. And so I was trying to figure out um, how I could get my foot in the door of a hospital laboratory. And so I was looking around at different hospital websites and I noticed on the um, open positions in the laboratory, they all said that you had to be ASCP certified. And so I was like, well, what is that? You know, I didn't know what that was. And so then I started um, uh, looking around, okay, what is ASCP? What does that mean? And I found a, a program at St. Louis University. Uh, and so I, I applied, I was accepted to that, that program at St. Louis University. I spent two years at SLU um, getting a second bachelor's. And then um, right after my clinical rotations, I applied for a job at Barnes Jewish Hospital in the microbiology laboratory. And I was hired right away before I even graduated. Um, so it gave me everything that I needed in order to set foot into the hospital laboratory. Um, and I, I walked into a day shift microbiology position, which is just unheard of. And um, it, was, it was great. I, I loved it there. Tell me about your laboratory internship. Was it scary? Did you learn a lot? For being very nervous, um, I remember being afraid that um, they would expect me to just jump right in and be able to do everything. Um, even though in our student laboratory um, at SLU, we did every, we did a lot of manual testing and we did, we did a lot of testing, what I call old school, the old school method of testing, um, you know, and then I walk into these, these clinical laboratories and they have these giant analyzers that I've never seen before. And it was really busy and, um, there was a lot of, just a lot of commotion going on. Um, and so I was nervous that, that they would be expecting me to, to just jump right in and, and know exactly what I was doing, but that's really not the case at all. Um, the purpose of our clinical rotations was to basically learn the workflow. You know, we've learned the theory in our coursework. Um, the preceptors that we worked with weren't sitting there like, quizzing us on everything that was happening. They were just demonstrating, explaining um, how things worked, uh, explaining how to organize workflow, uh, explaining and demonstrating how to perform QC and preventative maintenance and why that's important. Um, so it wasn't so much a, uh, like a test as it was a training. It was just really, really a training. And they know your students and they, they understand that and they, they understand that you're still learning. So uh, those fears were un, unfounded. Um, everyone was very, very friendly um, and very excited to have a student, which was, which was comforting. Uh, the only rotation that was terrifying in the long run was the phlebotomy rotation, um, which I'm not going to lie. Um, but if I can successfully draw blood from 50 people, anybody can successfully draw blood from, from people. Why is the medical laboratory a good fit, not just for you, but for others considering a medical healthcare career? So the medical laboratory is always changing. 
Um, it's constantly evolving. And so as a medical laboratory scientist, you are always learning. And that is something that I really enjoyed. Um, the other thing that I really love about the medical laboratory, and this is just for my personality, is that I am a rule follower. Um, and so I enjoy the structure of the clinical laboratory, but I love that I know what my expectations are. Um, I know what to, I know what my, my job is every day. Um, and yet there are still really interesting things that pop up from time to time, um, especially for my passion, the microbiology lab. Um, you get to see some, especially at Barnes Jewish, um, there are some just really interesting, rare kind of off the wall organisms that come through. And, um, and so it was, it was just um, a really fun time for me. And like I said, you know, the laboratory is constantly evolving. And I, I feel like uh, the microbiology lab particularly is in a renaissance right now. Um, uh, the techniques and testing methods that are being employed in the, in the microbiology lab have changed um, so much since I stepped foot in, in the lab 12, or in 2012. Um, it's like night and day. And so, um, you know, it's, it's challenging and it's rewarding. You know that you're helping people. And um, so that's why I enjoyed the, the laboratory. I understand that St. Louis University is developing an online medical laboratory science program. What do you know about that? So the uh, online medical laboratory science program at St. Louis University is designed for students who either have a degree in biology or chemistry and are looking to find their way into a clinical laboratory. So uh, the online program will provide uh, these students with the medical laboratory science um, specific theory courses, the student laboratory courses, and it will also uh, provide them with their clinical experiences. Um, in addition to taking students that already have a biology degree or a chemistry degree, it will accept students who have uh, 60 or more uh, credit hours. Uh, as soon as you meet uh, certain prereqs, you are then, you can be admitted to the program. So you would already have your like basic biologies, your basic chemistries, your math, um, as well as some of your kind of gen ed courses, like, um, you know, the art class you have to take and the psychology class you have to take and those kinds of courses, the English classes that you have to take, you already have taken those. And so when you get it, when you get accepted to the online program at St. Louis University, you will just be taking the medical laboratory science specific courses. And it is designed to be four semesters long. You can enter the program at any semester. So you can enter in the fall, in the spring, or in the summer. Each semester is 15 uh, weeks long. And it'll take four semesters to complete. And once you complete the program, you would be eligible to take the national certification exam. Uh, we prefer that students take the ASCP national certification exam. There are others that you can take, but we prefer the ASCP. And right now, uh, oh, also, uh, you will have uh, online lectures. You will have a hybrid student laboratory experience, and the you'd be expected to travel to a laboratory that is located located in relative proximity to where you live. And then you would go um, out on your clinical rotations in your senior year, or your sorry, not your senior year, but your last semester. Um, and we guarantee those clinical rotations and we set you up with those clinical sites. Uh, in, in your work with St. Louis University, what kind of successes have you had with students across all measurements that, that you use? Sure, so um, our outcomes are excellent. Um, we have um, a near 100% pass rate on the ASCP national certification exam for the past five years. Uh, we have a 100% job placement rate for those students who have uh, sought employment within six months of graduation. Some of our students don't uh, seek employment directly after graduation. Um, some of them decide to take some time off, uh, and while others decide that um, they want to pursue graduate school, medical school, or PA school. What does ASCP stand for? ASCP stands for the American Society of Clinical Pathology. And part of the ASCP is the Board of Certification, and they are the board that oversees our uh, national certification exam. The national certification exam is an exam that uh, many people take after completing uh, a program in medical laboratory science, and it um, 
basically gives them a, uh, it's their certification so that they are credentialed. Uh, so most of us are credentialed ASCP. There are other uh, professional uh, organizations that oversee certification. However, ASCP is the organization that St. Louis University prefers. Thanks, Amanda. If you have more questions you would like asked about a medical laboratory science career, leave a note in the comments section below. If Amanda's guidance provided value, please click on the like button down below as well.